For this week's Field Friday segment, I thought we'd kind of look at some things that we've got going on in one of our starter trials, but this is something that a lot of guys are playing with already, uh, looking at some of these starter fertilizer uh, treatments. If you think about the things that we're doing on a yearly basis, we tend to be planting just a little earlier every year on average. We're planting into a little bit more residue since we're getting a little bit less tillage. All those things are going to give us a little bit of a cooler seedling environment and that will make those root systems a little slower to develop and that's where if we have a readily available source of phosphorus and or zinc and some of the other micronutrients, that'll help that plant get going and kind of get through that type of a uh, tough early growth situation. If you look at what we have here, these stakes are in the ground the same height and this is an untreated strip of the same hybrid plant at the same time. This has starter in furrow. You can kind of see the plant height difference and how far up the stake that growth is. This is just showing up here at right around V4 is when those nodal root systems take off and that's when that really starts to take effect and get us going. As you look down the row here you'll see the starter has a little bit more foliage and width and a little bit darker green in color and you can see it in these individual plants. Um, you'll also notice it's just starting to show up but there's a little bit more of a root system here a little bit deeper roots, a little bit more root hair development in this starter plant versus the untreated. These are both the same hybrid, basically planted the same time, same population, uh, right next to each other. Out in this plot in particular, we've got several different starter trials and application methods we're looking at testing. Uh, we have a new furrow jet system that Precision Planning has where we're actually injecting starter in furrow as well as a stream of liquid fertilizer that's getting injected into the sidewall. Uh, that's kind of a new concept but it seems like it's, it kind of makes sense because we're putting a starter fertilizer readily available right where that first nodal root system comes out and kind of excited to see what kind of information and data we learned from that this year. Uh, we've got this plot and several other ones where we're testing that. So that's some of the uh, new concept things we're testing and that you can see now. Uh, this corn's getting to that V4, V5 stage. Uh, we'll be evaluating some V5 treatments and some other plots, but that's uh, something you can see in the field today. We'll see you next week on the Field Friday segment.